pipette calibration. The objective of this video is to learn how to calibrate a pipette. You will require Kim wipes, a 50 milliliter conical flask and stopper, suction bulb, finger cots, thermometer, a 250 milliliter beaker containing distilled water, a waste beaker, a pipette, and a laboratory notebook. This exercise must be performed on an analytical balance. Your lab notebook should be set up like this. Place the thermometer in the beaker of distilled water. Record the temperature of the distilled water in your lab notebook. Gently close the balance door. Zero the balance. Using finger cuts, place the stoppered 50 milliliter conical flask on the balance pan. Close the balance door and wait for a stable reading. Record the weight of the conical flask and stopper in your laboratory notebook to the nearest milligram or better. Open the balance doors and remove the conical flask from the balance. Fill a pipette with distilled water. It is important to wipe the outside of the pipette with a Kim wipe to remove excess droplets before adjusting to the calibration marking. Adjust the pipette volume to the calibration mark. Drain the pipette into the conical flask. Avoid wetting the neck of the flask where the stopper will sit. A wet stopper will give rise to evaporation losses during the transfer operation. Restopper the flask as soon as possible to prevent evaporation losses. Remember to never handle the flask or stopper with your bare fingers. Watch the aliquot video to learn how to properly use a pipette. Zero the balance. Place the conical flask and stopper containing the aliquot on the balance pan and close the balance doors. Record the weight into your laboratory notebook. The weight of flask for trial 2 is the same as the final weight of flask and water from trial 1. Repeat the above aliquot procedure. It is important not to empty the flask between calibrations, as this will wet the neck of the flask and lead to evaporation loss. Simply add the next aliquot to the initial aliquot and use the correct masses to determine the true volume. You require two replicate calibrations that agree to within 0.005 mils. The average of these true volumes is the calibrated volume of your pipette. The apparent weight of water delivered is the difference between the weight of the flask containing the aliquot of water and the weight of the flask without the aliquot. The true weight of the pipette can be determined by correcting the apparent weight of water delivered for buoyancy. This can be done by multiplying the apparent weight by 1.0011. Finally, the true volume of the pipette can be determined by dividing the true weight by the density of water at your specific temperature. You now know how to calibrate a pipette.